Photoshop 24.5 comes with a new adjustments feature, adjustments presets. Now the adjustments panel has been there for a while, but now you can see these presets and you can apply all kinds of color effects very quickly just by hovering over and then clicking and applying. How to display the panel? Just go here, if you've got the contextual taskbar there, you can see here, just click here or go to window and adjustments. Now everything in this, all it really does is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and it uses these, but it's all bundled up in this panel. Now you see when you hover, you can see the effect, which I think is a really nice feature. So you can go there, black and white. Now there's not many options, not many presets. I hope they had more. Be nice if there was 20 or 30 black and white. Also, you can't create your own. As far as I'm aware, can't see any feature to do that. Now, most of the functionality is much the same on this right side. There's a few things that seem to have changed. Auto select parameter, those sort of things have been quite a while. Basically, it sets the first option that you can edit in the properties. And you can select one of these and that will apply just one adjustment. But these are combinations of multiple, in some cases, three, two, or one. So I'm just gonna go to one of them. Let's go to this one, warm. Just click there, but you can see as hover over it, you can see what the effect will be. So just click it and then it's applied. This one, it's two, two adjustments. So you hover over there, you can see it's the adjustment layer, it just says that and you can double click, bring up the properties or just go to the properties. And that's the photo filter. I must admit, <laughs> I don't always remember which one's which. It would be nice if it said actually, but it doesn't. So you've got there, photo filter and click there and you've got black and white. And you can tweak it. Now that doesn't change preset. As far as I'm aware, we go back to the preset, it hasn't changed. If I go for that very intense black and white and close, if I just go back to this one, apply again, it hasn't changed. But you can see you've got these various adjustments which you can modify. And you can of course apply any of the others. So again, you've got this and you can go down here and let's just go for another one. Let's go for pop. And you can see it adds some more. Now it can get quite messy. I find it quite messy when you start getting lots and lots of these groupings of adjustments and multiple ones on top of each other. Some people of course have hundreds of layers and it's not a big deal. But I find it must admit, after a while I start getting the point, it's a bit confusing with lots and lots of these different layers, adjustments, etc. And of course at any point you can always undo. So if you don't like it, just undo and you got rid of it. Now that will be another nice feature if they actually had a feature, clear all the adjustments. I mean, they could, I'm certain, do that, but it would be, that's something that's not available in here anyway. And you've got here, creative, cinematic. So let's go for this one, split tone. So just click here and you can see again, it's two adjustments and you can modify them again, just as before. So that's adjustments, adjustments presets, great new feature in Photoshop 24.5 and obviously beyond. And Again, adjustments, and of course, you can always add more. Just go here, new adjustment layer, and just add as normal. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Will you be using this feature? Will you, fi will you find adjustment presets of any use? Do you think, you know what? It's great maybe for a beginner or, you know, just a casual use. But obviously, if you're using Photoshop all the time, you may not want to use them. Of course, you might have actions, etc., already set up to do these things. Any questions, please let me know. Any comments, again, please let me know. Subscribe and also a like or dislike. Always appreciate it either way. Thank you much.